Hello there, it's Richard McMahon here from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a math teacher interview. So if you are applying to become a math teacher with any school, college, or university whatsoever, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to pass. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. I will give you a list of math teacher job interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I will give you example answers to difficult math teacher interview questions. I will also give you some really important tips on how you can stand out during your interview. And finally, I will tell you how you can access further resources, including these slides and the answers to help you succeed. And just very quickly, please do make sure you subscribe to this channel. Lots of you are passing your interviews as a result of the content. I don't want you to miss out. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video, and it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. And please give the video a like because that tells me you find the content useful. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get started. So the first question they will ask you is, tell me about yourself. So this is going to be the first math teacher interview question you will need to respond to. And in your answer, my advice is to focus on your passion for your subject, the skills, the qualities and the attributes that you possess, what you will focus on in the role if the school, college or the university chooses to hire you. So those are the three things that we need to focus on in our answer. And to help you answer it correctly, here's a great response. Here we go. Tell me about yourself. I have a huge passion for teaching mathematics. It is a subject I feel entirely confident in, and this is reflected in my ability to teach in a simple yet highly effective manner to cater for students of all standards and abilities. Over the years, I've built up extensive experience that has given me a variety of different teaching styles I can quickly draw upon to meet the needs of my students and pupils. I have excellent communication skills. I am flexible and adaptable in my approach to teaching, and I will always deliver positive results for your school based on the defined curriculum. Now, one area I thrive in as a math teacher is when I need to explain difficult and challenging mathematical concepts to students and pupils who have historically struggled to grasp what is required. In situations such as these, I am patient, I am reassuring, and I use simple, easy to understand methodologies to teach the subject in question. So if you hire me as a math teacher at this school, I will be consistent. I will be supportive of other teachers and I will maintain the positive reputation you have clearly spent a lot of time establishing. So that is a brilliant answer. I like it because it is positive in nature. It is in depth. So you are really going into detail about telling them about yourself and why you want to work for them as a math teacher. And it sets you up with confidence for the rest of your interview. Now, you can either pause this video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we work through them together. Or if you want to wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of math teacher interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are covering today. Here is the next question. Why do you want to work for our school or college as a math teacher? Now, this question is guaranteed to come up early on during your math teacher interview. My advice is to give three reasons why you have chosen their educational establishment to work as a teacher. Most of the other candidates will just give one reason. If you give three reasons, it helps you to stand out. So here's what to say to show you genuinely want to work at their school as a math teacher. Here we go. Why do you want to work for our school or college as a math teacher? I want to work here primarily for three reasons. The first reason is you set high standards and I feel you will support me in my role as a teacher to achieve the objectives of the mathematics curriculum. The second reason is from the research I've carried out, you clearly create an environment that is conducive to effective teaching and learning. I believe you put the students first. You genuinely want them to be successful and as such, you create a positive environment in which they can learn and develop. Now, finally, other teachers who I've spoken to that work here have said nothing but positive things about the way the school is run by the head teacher and the governors. I feel this is a place I will want to stay teaching at for a long period of time. So that is a really, really good answer to that common Math teacher interview question, why do you want to work for our school or college 
as a math teacher. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 23 math teacher interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. But here's the next question. What is the most effective way to communicate with parents as a math teacher? Now, there are seven important considerations when communicating with parents of students and pupils as a math teacher. In your answer to this difficult question, show you have the communication and interpersonal skills needed to build positive relationships with the parents. So here's a great example answer to help you. What is the most effective way to communicate with parents as a mathematics teacher? Whenever I am communicating with parents, I have seven rules that I follow. To start with, I'm always warm and friendly. There's nothing worse than encountering a cold or rigid teacher as a parent. I will always be positive and I will try and create an environment where the parents feel valued and included. If you get the parents on board with how their child develops, this can help to make your life as a math teacher easier. I will communicate often with the parents and I will seek to create an environment that is built on trust. This means the parent is more likely to speak to you about any issues a child is having and you can then respond quickly and tailor your style of teaching to suit the child or student. Finally, when communicating with parents, I will always try to listen more than I speak and I will certainly ask lots of questions to find out how the child is getting on with homework and how they feel about mathematics as a subject. That's another really good answer. So make sure you focus on those seven different elements in your answer to that question. Here's another one. How would you teach mathematics to a class that has historically struggled to grasp the basic concepts of the subject? So this is another really difficult question that is assessing your style of teaching, your confidence levels and your levels of competence in relation to your subject. So here's another great answer to help you. How would you teach mathematics to a class that has historically struggled to grasp the basic concepts of the subject? Here we go. You must appreciate as a math teacher that this is a subject some students are anxious of and as such their willingness and ability to learn may be hampered. Now the way to overcome this is to ascertain the level of ability your students are at. You then need to use exciting and fun ways of learning mathematics and I believe it is essential that you use everyday scenarios the students can relate to in order to teach a subject. So for example, Whilst teaching a previous class, we enacted role play scenarios where the children would enter a fictitious shop to purchase some goods. Now, this taught them the basics of addition and subtraction, and it gave them the confidence to be able to use numbers in real life settings. I would also use problem solving scenarios where everyone in the class would discuss mathematical problems that were relevant to the real world. By being creative and visual, and by enabling problem solving discussions amongst themselves, I was able to develop my students level of mathematical ability far quicker than simply using a style of teaching that was robust and dictatory. Finally, I will always try to use math related stories whilst teaching as these are much more interesting and it is easier to maintain a student's attention for a long period of time. So that is a great way to put across how you would teach math to a class that has historically struggled to grasp the basic concepts. Here's another question. What is your teaching philosophy? Now, this math teacher interview question is assessing how much you care about the success of your students. My advice is to give an answer that is in line with the values and the ethos laid down by the school, college or university you are hoping to work at. So here's my example answer to help you. What is your teaching philosophy? Here we go. My teaching philosophy is that the classroom is a place where everyone, including the teacher and the students, must contribute to enable a safe and productive learning environment. I believe all students are unique and individual in their own way. And as such, it is my responsibility to use a variety of different teaching methods and styles to cater for everyone. Now, nobody should be left behind. Nobody should feel isolated or be excluded from the same high standard of teaching that everyone deserves. As a math teacher, it is my job to cultivate a positive learning environment where everyone advances and reaches their full potential. That is a brilliant answer. 
to the question, what is your teaching philosophy? Here's the next one. As a math teacher, what is your approach to equality and diversity? Now, equality, diversity and inclusiveness are important in all teaching roles. And this question is becoming increasingly common during math teacher interviews. So here's my example answer to help you. As a math teacher, what is your approach to equality and diversity? Equality and diversity are an essential part of teaching and we, as teachers, have the responsibility to promote it and to make sure it is embedded in our daily work. I genuinely believe that teaching should be inclusive. An inclusive teaching approach is one that is designed to recognise that all students have a right to access all educational content, regardless of their background or their abilities. They have the right to participate fully in all lessons, tutorials and assessments, and they have a right to receive the same high standard of tuition as everyone else within the school, college or university. And we must always remember that students who obtain the skills and qualities needed to work effectively with people from different backgrounds are far more likely to obtain employment in the future. Now, it is our responsibility as teachers to prepare our students for the transition from education into work, and this can be achieved by being fair, being consistent, being adaptable and supportive of all. That is another really good answer to that question. As a math teacher, what is your approach to equality and diversity? The next question guaranteed to come up is what are your strengths and weaknesses? Now, again, this question is guaranteed to feature at some stage during your math teacher interview. My advice is to give four or five strengths and then just one weakness that is not a match for the job description of a math teacher. So here's my example to help you. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include my adaptable style of teaching and the way I am able to tailor my lesson plans to suit all students. Other strengths include my understanding of how important it is to be supportive of the school I am teaching at and on that basis I would say I am politically aware. I have an inclusive style of teaching and I am a strong communicator both in the classroom and while speaking to parents. Now in terms of my weakness this is my inability to say no to additional work. Now although I am the type of math teacher who will always take on as much work as possible I need to learn the importance of striking a healthy work-life balance so that I do not become overwhelmed or burnt out. That is a great answer you are front loading it with lots of positive strengths that are needed to be a great teacher and finally you're giving one weakness that will do you no harm whatsoever so it is a, a, an excellent answer. So the next thing to do, please make sure you click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. Go through to my website, passmyinterview.com and you can take a look at my 23 math teacher interview questions and you have the opportunity to download all of the answers in a PDF guide, including the ones we have covered today within these slides. I hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe. A lot of time and effort goes into making these videos and I would really appreciate your support. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. I put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video and please don't forget to give the video a like because that just motivates me to create more for you. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your math teacher interview. Have a brilliant day.